Hello, and welcome to the next tutorial. Today, you'll be making one of these. That's right. You're changing your name to Adrian. No, we're creating an advanced name tag. So let's get started, because I think it looks awesome. First of all, let's go ahead and change the name of your project to your name. In my case, it'll be Adrian and name plate. Hit enter. There you go. Now, if you've already seen my basic tutorials on YouTube, you know that the first thing you do is create a name tag. However, it's kind of basic. Today, we're going to be making one that's a little more interesting to look at and to make. However, we're going to make this an advanced nameplate because it requires two other pieces of software. So let's get started. First thing you're, you're going to need is Google Classroom. Well, not Google Classroom, but uh, just Google. So let's go there. Again, these are all free programs. As you can see, that's the one I created here, but I want to show you how to get to it. So click on New. Drop down to where it says Google Drawings. And that's the free program, Google Drawings. Now, the reason I chose this is because most students have access to this. And of course, you can use other programs that are way more expensive, but it's your choice. So I'm going to put my name, Adrian Drawing. What you're going to do is you're going to click on text box. There you go. It's the letter T right there. And there we go. Yep. I'm going to type in my name, Adrian. Of course, you can type in my name if you really like it, or you can type in yours. I'm going to select everything, which is control A. I'm going to maximize this. I'm not sure how much. Let's say 72. Not bad. You can always make it bigger later, but whatever. And I'm going to change the font to Pacifico. And the reason is because I want them to all be attached to each other. And if I remember correctly, none of the other fonts do that. So this is a lot more like cursive writing because it, they all do connect with each other. And that's kind of a big deal. All right, this is the only one. So here we go. We're done with this part. We're done with the software. We just need to export it. So we're going to download it as a JPEG. Now, don't forget to remember, or don't forget where you where you put uh, your file because you're going to need it in the next step. Uh, mine's in the download section. It says Adrian Drawing, and I'm going to hit save. Now, the next place you're going to go, again, free website, it's online-convert. I'll put a link in the, in the description in the YouTube video, online-convert. That way you can get there faster. And what you're going to do once you're here in the home page, you're going to go straight to the bottom section. You want to convert an image, right? You're not converting video or audio. It's an image. And what you want to convert to is SVG. So now that it knows what you want to do, you have to upload the file. Choose your file, Adrian Drawing. There it is. I'm going to open it. It's uploading. Now I'm going to hit start. And this is done pretty quickly, so not bad. I'm going to download it. Adrian Drawing is going to be right there. Adrian Drawing, save. Okay, I'm done with this part, right? This is the, the part where you use other programs. Now I'm going to upload it. Shall we upload it somewhere else? Sure. Let's go ahead and upload it. We'll have a new design. All right, so right now I'm going to import the SVG file. I'm going to click on import. I'm going to choose the file right here and SVG Adrian drawing is right there. Now look at this right here at the very bottom. It says 720 length, 960 width. It's going to come in pretty big, but we're ready for it while we're waiting. Just want to give a shout out to Dan Shane from Southern Australia. He showed me this, this trick made it so much easier. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how much easier it made it. So, here it is, and uh, we're going to make this just a wee bit smaller. It's at 90 and 2, oh my goodness, 275. We need to make this to about 100. And I'm going to go about, let's say, 80 in the width. And I'm just going to type in 80 here. Should shrink everything appropriately. Let's zoom in. All right, so here we go. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate this one right here. 
I'm going to hit uh, Control D. I'm going to change this part right here. You see that right there where it says default? And I'm going to create an outer line. I'm going to change it to outer line. Okay. See how it created this outer line? That's exactly what we want. Now it looks a bit choppy. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the quality. Looks great. Although because there's two different colors, it's hard to see. So I'm going to change this to, I don't know, what's a good contrasting color? Red. Oh my goodness. That's going to burn my retinas. So that is not right. Yellow. I'm okay with this. So I'm going to change the height of the inner blue to five. And the yellow should be about 2.5. 2.5. There it is. Now, I want the yellow to be just a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to uh, hit shift and I'm going to move this outward a little bit. All right. That's not bad. At this point, I'm liking this. This is done. This saved me so much work. Thank you again, Dan. This is awesome. I'm going to click on the tube, connect it right over here. I'm going to change this to five. Let's say, no, actually 2.5. 2.5 because I want it to be connected to this part right here. Now, if you have a name that is not connected to everything else, that is okay. You can create a bridge right here yourself. It will be fine. Create one using this right here, if you have happen to have like the letter T that isn't connected, or I don't know, I've seen some students try to make this and their letter is just not connected. Well, connect it yourself. Create 2.5 and just shape this so that it looks like a natural connection between the capital and the rest of the letters. I've seen that happen before and feel free to make it look as good as you can using the shapes, stretch it, uh, make it shorter, longer, do whatever you can to make it look great. And I believe me, it will. So I'm going to just change the wall thickness here to make it a little bit sturdier. I don't want this to break while I'm wearing it. And of course, I'm gonna make it yellow. And again, thank you from or thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. I believe the name is Dan Shane from Southern Australia. I really appreciate this because we are now officially done. This is awesome. Appreciate it a lot. And you guys have a great day.